This is a healthy coronary artery, where blood flows smoothly and supplies the heart muscle with oxygen-rich blood. Over time, cholesterol begins to accumulate along the inner wall of the artery. This process is gradual, silent, and usually produces no symptoms. These deposits eventually harden, forming what we call plaque. As plaque builds up, it gradually narrows the artery. When the narrowing becomes significant, blood flow to the heart is reduced. Despite this, most individuals still don't feel any warning signs. Sometimes, a small crack can develop on the surface of the plaque. This rupture is the critical moment that often triggers a heart attack. Once a rupture occurs, the supply of oxygen to a portion of the heart muscle begins to fall. This early stage is known as ischemia. As ischemia progresses, the affected area of the heart muscle becomes visibly weakened and begins to change color due to lack of oxygen. If blood flow continues to decrease, heart muscle cells begin to die. This marks the beginning of true heart muscle damage. A blood clot commonly forms at the site of plaque rupture, making the blockage even worse. As the clot enlarges, the artery becomes severely restricted and may soon become completely blocked. Once the artery is fully occluded, oxygen can no longer reach the heart tissue supplied by that artery. Permanent damage begins within minutes. From the outside of the heart, the damaged region appears dark and unhealthy, indicating cell death and tissue injury. With time, the injured muscle becomes stiff and forms scar tissue. This area of the heart will never regain normal function. Even though the heart continues to beat, it now works with a weakened segment that affects overall performance. A silent heart attack may produce very mild or no symptoms but the internal damage can be serious and long-lasting.